The SMART DAP trial was a very clever design, taking ACS patients, undergoing stenting and randomizing them to six months of dual antiplatelet therapy versus 12 or more months of dual antiplatelet therapy. The trial overall showed that both strategies performed similarly in a statistical sense. However, there was a significant excess of myocardial infarction in the patients randomized to the shorter duration of DAPT. In particular, in patients who were analyzed after the six-month point, those that were randomized to at that point having no DAPT versus a longer duration had almost a five-fold excess of myocardial infarction. Therefore, this study nicely corroborates what the guidelines say to do already and what older trials have already shown us, such as the CURE trial, that at least 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy is indicated in patients with acute coronary syndromes, unless there's some reason it should be stopped sooner, such as bleeding, in which case you've got to do what common sense dictates. But for the patient at low bleeding risk who is not bleeding while on DAPT, continuing for 12 months or more appears to be the right thing to do based not only on this trial, but the cumulative evidence. The current generation of drug-eluting stents is clearly associated with a lower rate of stent thrombosis than first-generation drug-eluting stents, and probably even a lower rate than seen with bare metal stents. This has to do with the combination of drug polymer, stent engineering, stent strut thickness, thinner being better with respect to restenosis and thrombosis risk. So all these advances in stent technology have led to stents that are more efficacious, very low restenosis rates, but also very safe, very low thrombosis rates. And therefore, it has been raised whether we do need to continue DAPT as long with our current generation drug looting stents. I think a big determinant is whether the patient has an underlying acute coronary syndrome or not. If they do, based on trials most recently such as SMART DAP, but a number of older trials as well, at least 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy would be indicated as long as the patient's at low bleeding risk. So the basic calculus hasn't changed if there's an ACS. Now, if there isn't an ACS, that's a bit different. There, if a patient has a simple lesion, gets a single second-generation drug-eluting stent, there are the guidelines in both the United States and Europe would say six months of dual antiplatelet therapy is adequate. But if there are other high-risk features, multivessel disease, multivessel stenting, diabetes, a combination, then a longer duration of DAP may be warranted there as well, again, assuming the patient's at low bleeding risk.